Hello you guys, welcome back to a brand new video and as you can hear, I'm not Alex. My name is Daphne and today's video will be a little bit different. Now Alex came up to me a while ago and asked me, Daphne, can you redraw this picture I have so it will be less pixelated? Well, sure I can. So today I'm gonna show you how you can redraw simple pictures in Illustrator. But before I start this tutorial, I will show you the start and end result in a speed art video, which is what I do on YouTube. So after that, I will explain how you can redraw yourself by showing you the steps. So enjoy this video guys, and I'll be right back after the speed art. Well, as you can see guys, the picture looks a lot crispier than it was when I started this video. So let me show you guys how it's done. First of all, there are other options for tracing images like using the lasso tool for instance. But today we'll focus on tracing images automatically. So let's start. First, get the picture you want and select the image. Then in the menu, go to object and then go to image trace. Never mind the the, the illustrator on my video is Dutch, so I will translate while talking to you guys right now. So what I said, go to Object, Image Trace and then Make. And if it's not in your screen already, go to the main menu, go to Window and then look for Trace Image. And you will see that a pop-up will turn up in your screen. Uh, play around with the preferences until you're satisfied with the result and then go back to the main menu, go back to Object, Trace Image and then choose Expand. And now your drawing is being separated in different sublayers and anchor points. So basically your drawing is now traced from a raster graphic with pixels into a vector based graphic which means that you can increase and decrease the image size and it never loses quality so it will never become pixelated anymore. And basically you guys, that's it. That's the way to do a live trace on a graphic. It's that easy, it's that easy. Now I've changed a bunch of stuff like the shadow and some colors within the graphic as well. But that will of course be different per graphic and it will be different in the graphic you're working on. So, well, that was it guys, that was it. I was happy making this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like or let Alex know in the comments below. Bye for now, my name is Daphne and maybe I will see you guys in the next video. Just Alex Halford.